Hello YouTube, Darkscopes1 here. I'm going to bring you a tutorial on XPadder. XPadder is a program in where you can use a wired Xbox 360 remote to play on your computer without using a keyboard or mouse or anything like that. So once you once you download this, these two programs, um, XPadder and then this picture that you're going to want to download, both of them will be in the description. Once you download these and put them on your desktop, First, what you're going to want to do before you start anything, if you start XPadder before doing this, it will say, like, cannot run the program, and it will say, like, a bunch of weird programs that because you'll need them or something. But this is for Windows 7 users. What you're going to want to do is cl right-click on XPadder once you download it. Go to Properties. Go to Compatibility. Run this program, and then check off Run This Program in Compatibility Mode for click on this and click on Windows V um, I have Windows Vista Service Pack 2 but for everyone else like just make sure you have some sort of Windows Vista on and then once you do that click OK and then once you do that it should be working good so you're going to want to open up XPatter and then it should pop up like this, these two things. And then what you're going to want to do is, this is where the picture comes in. You're going to first click on, on this screen right here. You're going to click on image and then open. And then go to your desktop or wherever you downloaded the picture. Click on it, open. And then they should pop up like that. Both screen, like this screen will follow what you're doing. This one right here, it'll follow what you're doing. This one is like what you're going to be working on. And once you do that, you're going to want to click on sticks. Stick one enabled. You're going to want to drag, click and drag the circle over onto the left analog stick. Click on it once. And then take your Xbox wired remote. And then with the left analog stick, go left and then right. I mean up, sorry. And then you want to go to stick two, and then enabled. Click and drag over like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best on it. Click it once. Stick two. Oh, what the heck? Hold on. Sorry about that. Sometimes it messes up. Okay, so drag, drag it over. Click on it once. Stick to left, and then up. And then after you do sticks, you click on D-pad, enabled, D-pad, and then go to your Xbox remote and click up, down, left, right. It'll, it'll basically tell you what to do too. And then you want to drag the D-pad box over onto the D-pad like that. Click it once. And then go to buttons. And this is where you're going to take your Xbox remote. And then you're going to need this. Basically, you're putting all the buttons or setting up all the buttons so click A then this box should pop up drag it over to the A click it once B Y X and just guys, let you know if you're doing this like along with my tutorial here. This on this screen, these letters and stuff shouldn't be popping up. It's just because I already have other like saves, so it's basically copying from my other saves because my uh, my buttons. But I'll st on your screen, all these bo boxes should pop up, but the letters and c settings and the numbers and stuff shouldn't pop up. Just the boxes. All right, back to this. And then after you do the X, the Y, B, and A, you click on your Xbox remote start. Box should pop up right there. Put it over start. Click it once. And go to select. I mean that selects back. And then bring it over here. Click it once. Okay. And then you then you're gonna to want to click these things. Sorry, I forget what they're called. And then click click it. 
drag it over. It doesn't have to be perfect, just about right there. Click it once. The left one. I think it's called bumpers actually. And then drag this over then drag the other box right about right there in the middle. Click it once. Then go back down here. Click on triggers. Analog triggers enabled. And then it'll say hold left trigger. So click the left trigger. And then hold right trigger. Click the right trigger. And then the box you don't have to move the boxes. The boxes should be in place like that. Then what you're going to do when you finish this, you're going to want to go to finish, and then close. Then this will pop. This will stay up. Basically, it'll be this, but without all the letters and stuff. And then I'll show you how to like set up the buttons. So first, for the left analog stick, you're going to want to click on the little wrench on the bottom, and then click W S A D. That's basically it's just like the move and stuff. And just so you know, this button layout mostly works is like mostly works on shooting games. If you guys are thinking of doing this like with Minecraft, it doesn't work that well. Mostly for Call of Duty Zombies and stuff like that. Call of Duty 4, MW2, Black Ops, all that stuff like that. It works the best. And then once you it'll say WSD, it'll set it up for you. And then click on back. And then click this right here. Click on start escape then go to the buttons A should be space X should be R Y should be 1 B should be C and once you do that you come down to the, to the right analog stick you click on the little wrench you click on mouse normal right here and once you do that, you come over here to the D-pad. And then for D-pad up, click on it. It should be control with a little L under it, in parentheses. Click on that. Now. Alright. And then for the right, D-pad right, it's going to be 4. And then D-pad left should be 3. And then once you do that, you should basically have WASD, control 3, 4, the arrows, back, escape, R1, C, space. Then come up here, click on the box on the bumpers, pretty sure that's what they're called. Click on G, and then come to the left one, click on F. Well, basically, I put an F right there. Like, it's going to disable special grenades, but for zombies especially, when you're trying to buy guns off the walls, you're going to like you're going to need to click F on the keyboard. So if you put it like this, you can click the special grenade button instead of like having to go to your back to your keyboard, which really messes you up. Trust me. So instead, you can just click the special grenade button to buy stuff off the walls. And then once so you do that, you go to the right right trigger, click on the box, not the wrench, and then come over here to where these three arrows are, the mouse and then click on left mouse button with a 1 in the middle of it. And then come to the left one and then go back over here and then click on right mouse button with a 2 in the middle of it. And okay, and then once you do that, you should have all the settings exactly how I have them. And then once you have that set up, you're going to want to go to the top and then click on the little remote again go to save as name it whatever you want to mine's just going to be my controller blah 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 click save All right. and basically this is it and then try using your xbox remote it'll all work all the controls like a x y c blah 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 and then you can use this also with the internet you can scroll to YouTube, games, PC games, whatever you want to do. This is a really great program to use if you're not very good at using the keyboard, but you are very used to using Xbox remote. Use this program, and I hope you guys like this tutorial. Sorry if I was a little sketchy in some parts. This is my very first one. Um, comment, subscribe, and like in the bottom. And please, if you want me to keep making tutorials like this, 
and leave a comment below and I hope you guys have a good day.